Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So if you're new around here, hey y'all, how y'all doing? My name's Shakima. I'm a single mom. I have four children. I have two girls, Alana and Shamika. I have two boys, Trandon and Jackson. I have one fur dog. Her name is Gracie. And I have four fur grand dogs. Acro, he lives with us here in North Carolina. Brownie, sadly, Brownie passed away last year. He's my son's Trandon's dog. But Trandon also has two new dogs, Hondo and Snoop, and they don't live anywhere near us. So everybody's off living their best life. I noticed, you guys, we have so many new subscribers. Thank you all so much for coming over to hang out with us. We do a lot of stuff over here. Y'all just got to, you know, go with the flow. Be with it. Be with it. Be with it. Right. We do groceries. We do grocery hauls. We do meal plans. We do cook with me's. We do motivational, hey, Jesus is your friend, and he love you, and all that. We do reviews. We do clothing reviews. We do try on hauls. We do thrift store shopping, because that's what I do. We do lots of things. We do parenting. We do biblical femininity. We do womanhood. We do everything over here that we believe that God has allowed us to do and called us to do. So if you're new, hey, y'all, we're glad to have you. Please feel free to just move around the channel. There's a lots of playlists or are lots of playlists. Some people don't like the preaching. If you're not here for the preaching, hey, don't come for that. If you want to be here for the preaching, come for that. If you're here for the grocery hauls, come for that. If you're here for the try on videos, come for that. So anyway, it's Nadine West time. It's pink bag. We got us a bag. We're living our best life. So uh, Nadine West is an online subscription clothing company. And we've been partners with them for, goodness, four years now, I guess. Four or five. It's, it's, we've been with them for a very long time. Over the time that we have been with them, I have noticed lots of things. Their quality has increased tremendously. I would wear their things with any of my, you know, against any of my things that I have in my closet. Most of the things I have in my closet are from them or from a thrift, thrift store. It's very easy to get involved with Nadine West. You just go to their website, nadinewest.com. There's a link in the description box. You take their five minute, five minute style quiz. They will connect you with a stylist. That stylist will then pick items for you. They will send them to you in your pink bag. You have a specific amount of time with which to return things if you are not happy. One of the things I found out is this, because some people, especially if you're new to the experience, right? You're new to the experience. You assume that everything in the bag is supposed to go together. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. So what I tell people I like to do is I like to take some of their pieces and um, fit them in with my pieces. Case in point, these are my earrings that I can't remember where I got them from, but this is a Nadine West, West uh, neck accessory and necklace. I was out yesterday with some ladies at the church from the church. We were at a ladies night. And this waitress comes up to me after we're, we're on our way walking out. All my party has gone and I'm the last one because I'm slow. But we're on our way out. And she comes up to me and she's like, ma'am, can I please ask you, did somebody make that necklace? Oh, my God, it's so beautiful. No, it came in one of my last Nadine West bag. But um, the, the earrings that came in the bag as well, I didn't feel like represented what I was going for in that particular outfit. So I just decided to mix and match. I took these earrings that I really love and wear pretty much all the time, matched it with this uh, necklace. I also have another pearl bracelet. And I think one of you lovely sent me this in the mail. And so you mix and match your pieces. The dress I'm wearing is not a Nadine West dress. It's a Goodwill dress, but the outfit pulls together very nicely. And so with that, I'm able to, it's almost like getting pieces to expand your capsule wardrobe if you're into capsule wardrobes. Anyway, you will have to leave your credit card information just for them to be able to charge it for anything that you choose to keep. But if you don't like a piece, they do give you a return address uh, uh, label that you can put on the front of your bag, put it back in the bag and send it back. Remember though, that you do have a specific time that things need to be back. Um, a while back, about a year ago or so, when we were having issues with the mail and my bag would be a little bit late, they were so great. Just send me an email and say, hey, Shakima, we noticed that your bag is a little bit late. You know, please make sure you have your items back by this date. So they extended the return date if your mail is going to be a little bit late. They're very good about communication. So I've talked enough, chatted enough. Let's get into the bag. I think this is two bundles. 
Again, for you new folks, they come wrapped in um, nading wet, uh, this pink tissue paper with their nading west sticker on the front. This looks like a couple pieces, right? So it looks like a couple of pieces. And then uh, here's a smaller bundle. Okay. And we're all coming to the end of summer. So we'll see if they have some summer pieces and start of their fall pieces. So what I do see in here, again, is my return label. If there's something I don't like, I'm going to take this label. I'm going to stick it to the front of this bag. I'm going to take the bag back. I'm going to close the bag back up and I'm going to send it back. Then they also send me my invoice to tell me what's in my bag. So in this bag, I have three tops, one bottom, and two dresses. Alrighty, let's jump right in. All right, let's go with the big bundle. See what's in there. Okay. Now, like I said, over the years, their quality has changed of the clothing. Their jeggings have actually kind of um, really, their jeggings have really kind of amped up, ramped up quality wise. And they look almost like in jeans. I mean, they look like jeans. They look like jeans. Let me not say almost. They look like jeans, but they're very comfortable and stretchy. Alana prefers jeggings. I prefer jeggings, especially when I'm on um, the larger side. And I don't have to do that button up stuff. But this is a pair of pants. This is a bottom. Uh, these are some black. And I love a skinny jean because it just makes it just helps my body shape. Tomorrow is at church. Tomorrow is camo day. So it's like that olive green and black and uh that color camo. Now I have a pair of camo pants in my closet. I am not absolutely sure that they're going to work. So yesterday I was out shopping around. I stepped into the Goodwill and I found an olive green shirt. But then I was asking myself, do I have any, do I have any black leggings? Do I have any black jeans? I don't have any new black jeans. I have a pair of leather black jeans, but I'm not sure I want to do leather because it's still hot in North Carolina. Open my Nadine West bag today. And here are the uh, pants that they sent us. And I just want to show you what they look like. And so they are a control top, comfort fit, skinny jean-ish, but they are jeggings. So look at the Lord coming through. He coming through because he knew I needed a pair of pants for tomorrow. Now they do stretch, right? So they're pretty stretchy. That's all I'm saying. They do stretch. I'm still in a size large, even though I have gained weight. I'm still in a large. And these are supposed to fit extremely tight. I'm going to give those a try on with the um, the olive green shirt to see if it works. If not, again, I can revert back to my um, camo pants. But it's just another example of the mix and match for me. Okay. This is a navy dress. This is called an Emmy. Okay. All right. So let's see. Okay. It's short sleeved. Okay, this is the back. It has a wide kind of um, middle section, almost like a imaginary belt because it does have belting with it. Short sleeved, which I do appreciate, especially when it's warm. And it does have pockets. Now this is a shorter dress, which for me, I don't really love the short. Sometimes their dresses are a little bit short. But I think this one will work out fine because I do have some dresses this short. But it's solid, right? So it's a solid color, which allows me to then uh, mix and match my accessories. So watch this, right? So I've got this blue dress on minus the tag. Let's see if we can't make that happen, right? I've got this accessory. I've got these earrings, this bracelet, right? Let me come a little closer. And so I can already see how things are starting to come together. This has some kind of like grayish. Then I have the silver here. I have a silver belt that I can put in the middle, right? Or I could get another high-waisted, uh, another uh, wide band belt to put around it. And uh, if that's what I want it to do, I don't have to tie the loops in the, I don't have to tie the belt. I could actually overlay the belting that comes with the dress and then put a high band belt around all of that right so you have to i'm 
I know what I like for my clothing. I know how I like my things to look. And so that's how I get dressed in the morning, right? I've got short hair. So I'm really, you know, some people don't like my short hair. Well, listen, babe, this is what it is. And it's not just short, but it's short. Now it's gray and it's starting to grow a little bit back and it's starting to curl some. And so I don't know if I really want people looking at my head because they're not wanting to see my hair or how it is, but I am doing all the things, right? So what I'm, what I'm trying to do is uh, customize and accessorize all of my outfits so that I feel good in the clothes that I wear, right? Now, other people may have a different opinion and they're like, oh, I don't really like that on her. But if you like it, if I like it, if I'm comfortable, then I think that's what matters and what counts the most. I'm not saying somebody else's opinion is not valid, but your opinion does not sway my decision. Remember from that real idea, your opinion does not sway my decision. If I want to go outside wearing what I'm wearing, then I'm going to wear it. And again, I have comp my clothing gives me confidence. Now, this dress that I'm wearing right now has a belt and I belted it super tight. So I belted it super tight. If I were to turn around, you would see all my back fat rolls. I'm not going out of my house today. I'm actually doing a ladies meeting from my computer. So the ladies won't see my back fat. However, if I wanted to cover that because I want it to feel a little more comfortable, well, there's some gray in this belt, in the belting, and I have a long gray sweater that opens in the front, or I have several black blazers, right? If I'm going to a business event. So I know how to mix and match things that make me feel good. And I've been thankful over the years to Nadine West for helping me to do that. All right, the next piece. Okay, now this is probably more, oh, of a, mm, okay. This is a dress. It is a striped dress. It's a shirt dress because it looks like a shirt. That's what I was thinking. It's kind of a shirt, but it's a shirt dress. So here's what I think would be well for this. That sleeve, is that what I like? That three-quarter length sleeve because I love that. But this would be like a Saturday, um, just out about town running errands, meeting up with girlfriends for lunch kind of thing. Casual afternoon date if you're going on a date of, of, you know, of that nature. But it's not a dressy go out to Ruth Chris. This is a casual, I'm just hanging out type situation. I could see wearing this with kids or just um, plain white, you know, white tennies, the low tennies. But also the blue dress can be dressed up to go out, out, right? You can do it. It can be around town, but you can dress that up to go out depending on your footwear, accessories, makeup, that type of thing. I would, I could wear this. Absolutely. Right. I could wear this out about town. I probably would pick a longer um, neck piece that would come long. So this white wouldn't be on the white but I would have something that would be down and I might even mix metals and do a gold here just to bring out the jewelry because I think the white washes out the, the pearl, right? So that would be me. But this is cute and it has pockets as well. So I'm here for pockets. I don't usually use them, but I think it does add such a, um, it adds a different dimension dynamic to um, any outfit. So I do like this one as well. It is uh, striped blue and white. This could easily be end of summer, beginning of fall outfit. It's not thick, so you will probably have to wear a cami or a foundation garment underneath if that's your preference. I always wear foundation garment underneath because I don't want anything, you know, I got to keep it all together here. All right, second bag. Let's see, second bundle. Okay, these should be my tops. Okay, so here's a flower top. This is like a... Orange is not the right, it's like a burnt orange with a white. And again, this could be worn with jeans. This could be worn with um, white pants. This would be really cute. See how the flow goes, right? So if you do a cami underneath with white pants or white jeans, you could do white linens, you could do white shorts, you could do skinny shorts, right? That are kind of not the big flowy sh uh, shorts. You could do wide leg pants. Uh, this would be cute with any of those, right? Here's your sleeve. Not a puff sleeve. 
but if it had more material, it might be categorized as a puff sleeve. So it does have a little bit of pleating in the front. And again, right, You that washes it out. So again, I might mix a metal here and do some gold to make this stand out a little bit more. Or the shirt, the shirt is busy enough. It doesn't need anything else. But that's when I would bring in some big, um, um, I like big statement earrings uh, when I'm not trying to not, today I'm teaching, right? I'm teaching this morning. So I would prefer people not, be gawking at my earrings, which is why I wear smaller ones on a um, day like today. Sometimes I wear big chunky pearls, which I really do like. And so, but I think that shirt is busy enough that it doesn't need a lot happening. Okay. Um, two more shirts. Here's like a rose gold, kind of. Let's see what they call this. Yep, old gold. It's called old gold. And it is a cardigan. Look at that. Right, so it's a cardigan, long sleeve. And it does have this, you know, goes around your around your neck and it hangs probably very flattering on you. So this could go with the black pants. The other shirt could go with the black pants as well, but I like to have, uh, when I have a pattern like that, lighten it up a little bit with a white or a jean. I think that would be best. This could go with a pair of jeans, white top underneath, pair of jeans, and some tinnies. Um, you could actually, I could put this over this black that I'm wearing right now if it didn't have another color in it, right? And it could definitely be a black and old gold situation. I think the black is a little bit harsh for this color. Um, so maybe something a little lighter would be better. Definitely with a jean, it would be definitely cute with a jean. And then the last shirt that I have is also a striped. So it's a tri-stripe, right? So a little bit of that rose gold in the front or at the top, a white, and then a gray at the bottom. Again, another perfect shirt to wear with jeans. Another perfect shirt just for a casual around the, around the neighborhood. Hey, this is where I'm going running errands today. And I think that's really cute. Again, I would probably wear a cami underneath just because I don't want anything showing. Um, that's just personal preference. You don't have to choose that if you don't want to, right? So there that is. I'm going to do a try on for you guys, or maybe sister will. We'll see if there's anything in here she likes to try on because sister and I actually share clothes now that she's grown and adult. And um, I don't wear anything that I consider inappropriate for her age. There's certain things that I would dress differently than she would as a teenager, but I'm you know, I'm 46, so I'm going to look 46. I don't want to look like a teenager, but there are pieces that we could both use just depending on how we style them should be able to age us appropriately, right? So we're going to do a try on for you guys to see what you think. You let us know, thumbs up, thumbs down, which one you like, or just say, hey, I was here for the, and let us know what we, what we had on that you liked. So anywho, let me do that and we'll see you back in just a minute. Alrighty, you guys, so let's kind of debrief some of those outfits. So I need to make this disclaimer way up front. It is very clear to me in those pictures, in the, that video footage, in the mirror, every part of my life that I have gained weight. I have gained a lot of weight and I still can't put my hand on it. Now, I don't eat perfectly all the time, but with all the working out that I did on the 75 hard and the 75 soft, there is no possible way that I should have gained the amount of weight that I gained. So I've been to the doctor and so I'm still waiting for a consult to see um, when I can have another appointment. In the meantime, I'm working on everything I can work on on my side. 
So with that being said, a couple of the things just didn't fit well. I didn't think fit well on this body type, my body type right now, which is large. Um, if I told y'all the, the amount of weight that I have gained, y'all would just die. Y'all would die. So I'm not going to tell you. Um, because it makes me, I broke down in the doctor's office the other week, just like, I don't know what to do. Um, anywho, that's not this video. So what I want to share though, is I want to make sure that you understand when you look at the, the clothes, don't judge Nadine West, right? Don't judge them because the clothes didn't look good on me. That's my body going through something right now. And I almost didn't upload the, the um, footage, but I wanted to be able to show the outfits. So the pants, the black pants, a-okay. The two dresses, very nice. The blue one, the all blue, I really like that. Um, I did not have on a slimmy underneath that. I just did the try on with just a regular slip, not a slimmy. With the slimmy, it would definitely look a-okay, top notch, all the things. Um, the pink uh, cardigan did not go well with the shirt that I had on it, but the pink cardigan was fine. I have there, um, I got like a turquoise flower dress in one of my previous bags and that pink top or the uh, old gold top would go perfectly fine with that. Um, the only top that I could have definitely used a, a larger size was the, um, the one with the leaves, right? That one just because of the weight gain, I needed a, a larger size. But I thought everything that came in the bag this time was absolutely um, top notch quality so good i've already worn the black pants i haven't worn anything else because we went back to work so i wore jeans um but top notch on for sure uh the things it just really worked out very very well so if you are looking for a subscription type experience you don't want to go out you don't want to uh, do the stores you you just want to have it come to you i would say give nadine west a try um, very, very good quality of clothing and very good style, actually. So this whole try-on, anything negative about the try-on is me. It's not the company. I can't figure my body out right now. I am making some minor tweaks to see if that's going to help me. I'm hopeful. I'm prayerful. I am very prayerful. Um, starting back the 75 hard September 1st. Um, because I like to start things on the first of the month. So September 1st starts back to 75 hard and we're going to move on. I'm changing my diet again just to take, I'm taking some things out. That's all. I'm just taking some stuff out and keeping most of it in. I'm taking some things out just so that maybe by the time the next bag comes, I will have, you know, lost some of the weight that I've gained because I can't figure it out. I don't know if I'm um, going through menopause early because I have night sweats. I have hot flash. I have night sweats worse. I don't have hot flashes, but night sweats are really bad. So it could be some hormonal imbalance or some something going on. But anyway, please, please, please do not um, judge Nadine West harshly because of my body. And I didn't have time to go in and change my sizes. I guess I could change it for next time. I probably could do that, but I'd rather lose the weight. I, I certainly would. Anywho, there it is. If you want to try them out, there'll be a link down in the description box below. We do appreciate you all so much for stopping by. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.